Hi everybody, this is Hamid Hashimi. Today I'm going to talk about a psychological disorder which is very common among millions of people. And this uh, psychological disorder is called depression. What is depression? Depression is a disorder that is evidenced by excessive sadness, lots of interest in enjoyable things and low motivation. It is normal to experience feelings of sadness and despair in response to adverse life events. Such events could include loss, major life changes, stress or disappointment. In other words, we experience depression when we face problems that we cannot solve. Depression can have very different forms from chronic depression to acute depression and bipolar depression, uh, which is just one episode of uh, bipolar disorder, seasonal depression. All of these are, uh, in fact, uh, some subcategories of the depression disorder. What are the signs of depression? Feeling miserable. The first symptom of depression is feeling miserable. This misery is present for much of the day but may vary in intensity. The misery lasts for weeks or even years. Loss of interest or pleasure in usual activities. People suffering from depression are not interested in activities that once were enjoyable for them. For example, a person who suffers from depression once upon a time was in love with swimming but now when you ask him to uh, go swimming, he says, I don't like it, I hate go swimming, and something like that. And this can happen for many other diverse issues. Another symptom is slowed or inefficient thinking with poor concentration, leading to difficulties sorting out problems or making plans or decisions. People suffering from depression most of the time find it really difficult to make decisions about themselves. Even even about very simple things. Once they were very professionals, they were creative, but due to the depression, they cannot make decisions and they have problems in self-expression and they have they, their capabilities for pro problem for problem solving has decreased considerably. Recurring unpleasant thoughts is another symptom, particularly about being guilty, being bad, an unworthy person. These people have very low self-esteem. They think they are guilty. They think they, have, they, they do not deserve the attention. They do not deserve the admiration um, received from other people. Thoughts that would be better off dead or of harming yourself in some way. Unfortunately, a depressed person most of the time is dealing with destructive thoughts about death, blackness and the things which are really gloomy and destructive to the person and those around him. Loss of appetite with excessive loss of weight is a biological consequence of depression. In addition to loss of appetite, people suffering from depression suffer from loss of interest in sexual activities. They also suffer from loss of energy, even when not physically active. Most of the time they're tired, they have headaches, they have problems with their stomach, and at the same time they are suffering from a sense of impatience. Loss of sleep despite feeling exhausted. Sleep is typically restless and unsatisfying with early morning awakening one to two hours earlier than usual. Some people, however, may actually sleep much more than usual. So uh, in cases suffering from depression, we notice people that uh, are sleeping too much or vice versa. They have very, very limited time uh, for sleeping. Additionally, they have a slowed activities and speech. When they are talking, they, they have very uh, they show very low capabilities for speaking, they speak, their talk is slurry. Now we are talking about uh, the reasons. Uh, no one knows exactly what causes depression. It is clear that genetic factors are important in many cases of depression. 
In other words, depression seems to run in families uh, as do other mood disorders, about 30% of predisposition for depression due to genetic factors. Additionally, stressful life events play an important part in the onset or relapse of depression. So we should take into consideration the life of the patient. We should mostly focus on the childhood of the person and understand that what has happened uh, during the childhood, how was her relation with the parents, what kind of trauma the person has experienced. And these things help us to excavate the reasons, the, the underlying reasons for depression. A person's personality characteristics are also an important factor. When people are depressed, they usually have very negative view of themselves and the world. They do not appreciate good things and things seem overwhelming. And this is a consequence of depression that also leads to more destructive episodes. And now how to deal with depression? There are different solutions and there are a range of ways to deal with depression. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a very important way. CBT is an excellent treatment for depression alone in conjunction with medication. CBT involves learning for the patients first to control the negative thoughts that lead to loss of interest and feelings of worthlessness. If the people understand that uh, the feeling of worthlessness is something idle and it is not based on reason, they little by little they can win over their destructive feeling, their feeling of depression. Another solution is to come back to emotions of sadness and hopelessness and loss of energy, even not physically active. Additionally, to contract the behaviors related to poor concentration and thoughts of this. All of these would contribute to better understanding of this phenomenon, even for the patient and the person and the therapist. We should also add that the competent trained clinician who has expertise in CBT can be very helpful and facilitative in solving the problems of depressed person. In addition to uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, we can uh, talk about some medications. For some people, antidepressant medication will be the first, uh, first line of treatment for uh, elimination of severely depressed moods. So uh, certain erotic inhibitors are a very good choice for uh, solving the, uh, some psychological, some biological basis of depression. Some people who are suffering from acute depression need to deal with the uh, professionals in the, field, in the field of medicine at the same same time, they need to be um, treated by the clinicians in the field of psychology and therapists. Uh, in addition, we uh, electroconvulsive therapy is also important. Electroconvulsive therapy is an effective form of treatment for depression, especially if there are medical uh, contradictions to medication and there is a need for a rapid improvement because of societal societal intent. You know, as I told you, uh, the people are think those suffering from depression most of the time think about this death, and so uh, in in such cases, we need electroconvulsive therapy as something very, very urgent. ECT involves the application of the brief electronic current, current to carefully select sites on the scalp. These electric currents, which are administered by psychiatrists and anesthetists, produce a minor seizure in the brain. However, it helps relieve the mind. ECT is more rapid in its effect on, uh, in comparison with antidepressant drugs, as I told you, threatening reoptic inhibitors, inhibitors and, and they have proved to be very, very useful. Uh, as I told you, uh, depression is common disorder, psychological disorder, and millions of people all across the world uh, are suffering at this moment, I'm talking to you now. The most important thing to deal with depression is first of all, to understand that we have uh, the symptoms or not. If all the time we feel we are not interested in the works that once were interesting for us, it is possible that we are suffering from depression. If all the time we have difficulty uh, difficulty of doing our daily works. Most of the times, if you like to cry, 
if we try to sleep all the time or if we are restless and we cannot sleep and all the time we are dealing with destructive thoughts uh, and if we feel too much anger and aggression and sometimes we cannot express it and we like to be alone we like to be isolated these are symptoms of depression and as soon as we understand we have such symptoms we should start solving the problem the problem and the most important thing is to understand the value of self-esteem people suffering from depression most of the time suffer from lack of self-esteem they think they are not worthy they don't like themselves and when somebody doesn't like himself or herself how can we expect others to love him or her uh, another reason are cognitive distortions you know uh, sometimes bipolar thinking uh, catastrophization and uh, many other cognitive disorders uh, make people have a wrong attitude about themselves, misconceptions about themselves, misconstrue their identity and uh, feel great grief and depression. And it is the duty of the psychologist, the therapist, to identify these uh, wrong conceptions, these wrong cognitive uh, attitudes and try to solve them. Uh, medication medications are very helpful in some cases you know different types of medications can be very helpful and uh, certain reoptic inhibitors epinephrine modulators and uh, uh, dopamine distractors which uh, contribute uh, to the uh, development of depression in people should be controlled in some way and in this case different types of tablets and syrups have proved to be efficient thank you very much for listening to these talks